Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Magic Research 2, or at least the demo of it. So, in Magic Research 2, you're a rookie wizard with a single ambition to find or create the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary magical item that's said to cure any illness. As you do so, you'll learn more than you ever imagined about magic and the world around you. What kind of adventures await you? So we got, uh, pick an element. So we got fire, earth, water, or air. Fire gives us high temperatures, raw power, and efficiency with which you can generate resources. We have earth, which is storages, water, which is mana regeneration, so you can cast more often, and air, which is more money and moving fast. I think I'm going to go water. Uh, casting spells more often seems like it's worth it. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is definitely auto-clicker territory. I know some people always turn up their nose the moment I turn on the auto-clicker, but it's one of those where it's like, I'm going to get there anyway. Clicking, clicking is not what I play these games for, as odd as that might be. It hasn't been very long since you completed your magical studies, but you feel like you barely learned anything. Even among the little things you did learn, you remember, you remember, after gathering mana, you're supposed to use it to channel into elemental essences. Gain the ability to channel elemental essences. You can do so from the spell menu. But first, mana! Bam. Alright, so we can channel fire, uh, but we should probably channel water. Seeing as... Okay, I see. So we're at a... Bit of a limit? Oh, interesting. So we can actually expand that to read more of a, a description if we want to. So it also seems like we are not good at fire, maybe? Or maybe it's just more expensive. Mana spats. You already are pretty tired of gathering mana on your own. Luckily, you remember something else from your studies. Neat little objects that automatically generate it. And you recall how to make them. So we can make a mana spout. Costs two land and some amount of water and air. Okay. But we might as well crank this back up again. I can see why storages would actually be kind of useful for obvious reasons. Okay. Yeah, so we want to just get as many of these as we possibly can. But I should probably go back and make some more earth at some point. But I think for now, goal is to kind of have enough uh, get to the point where I cannot make any more of these. Oh, oh, we're maxed out, of course. So, now we're capped. So, time to channel Earth. Mana capacity. With a little bit more mana income, you feel a little relieved. It's one less problem off your hands. However, your reserves are still not very large. It'd be great if you could cast more powerful spells, but that requires more mana. You remember your basic lessons that spoke of Earth and Shards that could increase this capacity. Which can now easily can also be easily built. You need to try that. We can now make mana shards, but we need water. Up, up, up. Full of essence. With more mana reserves, you've managed to stockpile some elemental essence. You think of saving some room in your home for magical storage furniture, so you can stockpile even more. You briefly ask yourself, would why would you even want more? But you rid yourself of that thought. With this much essence, the magical power you have is still very limited. You'll surely need to accumulate more. We can make essence storages, but we need a lot of earth. We do also have to worry about land, is one concern. Well, that massively increases the amount that we can hold. Okay, let's just get a bunch of air. Uh, you know what? Let's actually, let's just chill for a moment. Because if we have a limited amount of land space that I can de dedicate to some of these, I should probably... Can I take a look? Home stats? No, it doesn't say how much land we have. Ah. Two out of 121, so it is going down. Boy, fire is expensive. Is it more... It costs more. Oh, but maybe it doubled the amount. You're slowly feeling like you're beginning to master channeling, but something bothers you. You get so little eff essence for your efforts. Once more, you recall the words of your teachers at your school. A strong, capable wizard has an elaborate home full of magical furniture. You remember one more such piece of furniture, essence catalysts, which use fire to improve channeling efficiency. So we can now make these. The essence catalyst is up and running. You feel a little proud of it. You notice right away that your channeling spells have become stronger. Now that you are starting to put what you are meant to have, or what you are meant to have learned from school into practice, you realize there's so much you don't know. You wish you had paid more attention, but at the very least, now you're starting to see its application. 
You feel like it would be worthwhile to spend some effort studying it. You never liked studying, but you finally understand. You even feel like calling yourself a magic researcher. You laugh a little at your own thoughts. Why not? So we can now study the various elements, gets us experience in them, and increases their level, unlocking new spells. So we can study. So we can go here. So which do we study? If I do water, three per second. No. I'm curious what the bonus is. I'm just going to do to every element. We're not going to be doing fire as much, which I think is the downside. So fire is probably not a bad idea. All right, so what do we do? We need a lot of fire. If I want more essence catalysts. Oh, you can press and hold the buttons to auto activate them. The clicker is still more efficient. Not massively so. Okay, so how much are we getting? 35. So this bumps it up by 40. Yeah, we might as well just kind of max out each of these as we go. I still think the catalysts are probably what we need at the moment. And maybe I should have started with fire. I think I'll remember that for the next time I play this. Is go hard fire. I could also just restart, but I don't think it matters that m It doesn't matter that much, I don't think. It doesn't tell me, I, I bet I get some kind of experience booster. Let's see, that increases our max mana by a bit. That's not terrible. Okay, so water we are capped on very easily. I see, so we need more water. I'll just max those out. At some point, we'll have to worry about land. But not not right now, not yet, anyway. Oh. As you hone your skills, you recall another way to use elemental essences. By using magic, you can reshape them into solid objects of great power. It's called transmutation magic. That was it. Has to be how you'd make the Philosopher's Stone, isn't it? You avidly pull your notes from the school. Pull your notes from the school. However, your excitement vanishes when you realize most of them are still unintelligible. Turn back to the beginning page. There's a diagram here, but this one feels like it might be simple enough. You remember not understanding heads nor tails of the explanation at the time, but it feels like now you you finally have half or now you finally put some things into practice. You your understanding has grown, so we can t transmute waters up. So we can do uh, temporarily power up our spouts. I see it just resets it. Oh, fire's up as well. Doesn't look like we have anything new for fire. Which is maybe a bit of a downer, but whatever. Gather mana. Do I mana shard? No. I think probably best thing for me to do... Yeah, I don't know, actually. Let's see what else we have. Are we still researching fire? Yeah, it looks like we're still researching fire. I should probably switch that. To earth? Yeah. Okay, so what do we have? Transmute. So we can do a fire shard or a water shard. Okay. Useful for transmutation. Transmute all? Let's see, let me just wait, transmute another. So EXP gain water experience. How do we sell them? Inventory here. Sell all, press again to confirm. Okay, so we have some money. I don't know what I can buy yet, so we probably need to, ah, we just need to sell a couple more. Yeah, let's just use the mana spouts. Now, mana spouts just increases my Current gain, yeah. Honestly, I'm not even sure if it's worth clicking anymore. It's slowing down to the point where it's not really helping me that much. No, it does help.
It's just not amazing, considering my stocks are getting pretty big, and so is my gain. Here, can I, can I favorite this? There it is. Because we want to be able to use that whenever we want. Okay, let's go back to transmutation. Make a couple more of these. Okay, back to inventory. Sell all. There we go. Strange vis visitor. Knock, knock. Someone's at the door of your home. You decide to open it and meet them. Meet, meet face to face with a woman. From her attire, she appears to be a wizard, but something feels off about her. Her wizard, her robes are somewhat worn down. She's oddly carrying a leather bag strapped to her shoulder. Wizard for hire from the Wizards Guild, she exclaims while giving him a paper. You skim through it very quickly. It appears to be a resume listing her skills. Looks impressive indeed. Almost too good to be true. You look back at her. She continues. You need only tell me what to do and I will do it for you. She must have followed you from the short trip you just did to sell your items. A special offer and I will join you entirely for free, she says. And or as she says this, she decides to come inside your home. You're shocked. You didn't agree to anything yet. You're ready to kick her out, but before you reply, you pause and think about it some more. Having someone else helping you cast all those spells would certainly be a big help. Even more so if free. You ask, you ask her to channel some water, and then you notice her struggling. Beads of sweat start forming on her forehead as she tries to focus to show you her supposed skills. Eventually, she comes through. Although she appears to be pretty exhausted, she surprisingly appears to be even less skilled than you are. No wonder the offer was actually free. Nevertheless, you help her get help her get set up in a corner of your home. She appears quite excited and thanks you. You know the paper was a complete lie, but the idea still stands. If you're going to create or find the Philosopher's Stone, more helping hands of any kind could help uh, could end up being the key to getting there. And maybe it's even worthwhile to have more than one extra pair. Okay, so we've unlocked the ability to direct a team of wizards to help you cast various spells of various kinds. You can do so from the wizard screen. In addition, you can now build wizards' chambers, allow you allowing you to hire more, and then elemental gathering. So you, we have a cache of whatever this is. It'll take a little time, but there's so much more that'll fill your storages. So we gain some amount of that. And earth shards up as well. Okay. Let's go back to study. No, wizards? Okay. Looks like we have to build some things, though. So let's build a couple wizards' chambers. Looks like we need coins and a lot of fire. Pricey. Okay, so then just coins. You have no rules set up for your wizards. You can tell them to cast spells from the spell menu or from the transmutation screen. So if I go back to this one, assign wizards. Okay, so now my mana spouts should be activated all the time. I think. Wait. One? Oh, I see. Every 60 seconds cast it, but we want this one. Okay. Pause. Oh, pause all wizards. Load default. There it is. I guess we just had to wait a moment for it to trigger. Okay, so how many wizards do I even have to bring to bear? Okay, so I've got apparently four wizards. Wizard produ uh, power production per wizard, mana consumption. Got it. So if I go to transmute, we've got fire shard, earth shard. Useful for further transmutation. What about, huh? Not showing me, showing me the water shard anymore. Oh, probably because of this. Okay. Channel water? Oh, yeah, let's just assign wizards to it. Actually, that's meaningless. Yeah, let's just let's just let my army of wizards handle some amount of this. Just so we slowly accrue water shards. So what's our next goal? Get a thousand coins. Fair enough. Extra production from channeling? Sure. Looks like we're gonna need at least one more essence storage. 
And probably look into those mana spouts. Though admittedly, they're only giving me so much, which is kind of the downside. Uh, let's go back to this. Oh, we only have like a handful. Oh, it is an in incremental game, but we know that we knew that going in. We knew exactly how this is going to happen. Okay. Oh, if I go back to study, no, we only have one. Let's do air just in case. Sometimes there's money spells that you can get. Water is level three. I don't actually know what increasing their levels does for me. It gets me 137, yeah, so it's probably just more expensive based on kind of what your character is good at or specialized in. Okay, well, let's take a look. Let's just transmute a couple more. So if I go back to wizards, ah, here we go. I guess the other, the other option is we try and get more wizard chambers. Okay. So what was this? Oh, we can just transmute water shard or air shards on top of everything else. So if I go back to this, we can get at least one more of these. Do we just have them continuously transmute water? I just need to make sure that they have enough. Because yeah, otherwise we're going to deplete. I kind of wish these had a little bar behind them. Like a little visual element kind of saying like, yeah, you're kind of low on water. You should get some more. Okay. Are we on this? Yeah, accumulate at least a thousand coins. Another wizard? Eh, I could. I'll have to poke at it. Let's see, do we keep working on getting my channel water up? Or my mana spouts? I, we kind of, yeah, yeah. Because they're permanently enchanted. I don't know. We're we're in a fine spot. Just keep selling things. Start of a business. I've already gone to the town so many times to sell your items, it's a bit of a trip. It would be much more convenient in, if instead you had to go there. Customers could simply instead come to you and buy your items. You decide to ask the town hall about this. The town officer tells you, tells you that you are in fact allowed to do so if you wish. And they will even spread the word so that other people know about it. She quickly corrects herself. They will spread the word a little at least until your store becomes more famous. You decide to give it a try and see if it leads anywhere. Having a solid source of income means you can devote your attention to the ulti to your ultimate goal. So we can build market stalls to automatically sell items, and as a bonus, it'll sell them for higher than the normal sale price. A hey, market stall. So it sells one item every 30 seconds for 2.5 times the normal price. Uh... Where do I see that? Or does it just kind of sell it automatically? Not sure. Well, on the plus side, we're going to be leveling up water shortly. Uh, let's see. Oh, and water is max, so we don't need to worry about that more. Could also get another wizard chamber. I'll do it. Well, we seem to be selling items automatically, so I'll just let that go for the time being. Uh, studying air? Yeah, that's fine. That's going to take a while anyway. So, wizards. I have one wizard left. I know. I'll... It's like every 60 seconds, though. Okay, water's level four. Posterity. As you continue casting various different kinds of spells, your knowledge becomes more advanced, and you start realizing that you're actually learning, unlike when you were at school. 
You're learning not just about the elements and their magic, but you're learning about how to learn, how to become more proficient in the process itself. You pull up your diary and intend to write about it. As you begin to flip through the pages, you notice that where your writing was particularly... Notice one where your writing was particularly sloppy. You stop and your blood freezes in your veins. It's your entry from the day your close relatives succumbed to illness. Dang. You read it a slight bit. It's already been several years since then, but you remember how devastated you were. This, that specific day, too, was the day you decided that no one else should have to go through the horrors they did. The day you vowed to, to yourself to find or create the Philosopher's Stone. You had then enrolled into magic school, hoping to be able to deduce how to make it. It was merely a pipe dream, wasn't it? You take a deep breath and jump over to the last page, and you begin writing about how you, how or what you've learned so far. You suddenly become quite tired. It feels like such a difficult task, and you don't know how long it'll even take. You feel tears welling up in your eyes, and soon after, you tell yourself you want to give up. However, you stop yourself. Not yet. No, you can't give up. You barely started. You tell yourself. You recognize the immensity of this task laid upon you upon yourself. Realize you aren't sure you'll be able to get get to the end like this. Because of that reason, you make one more promise to yourself. You're going to write about everything that you have learn, learnt in the same diary. If you ever decide to give up, someone can pick up the book. And hopefully that will give them a head start and set them up for success. With renewed energy, you quickly finish what you're writing and continue practicing magic. So we can now retire. At this point, you can decide to retire starting the game over, but with powerful bonuses. So we can do it from the retirement screen. Cool. I think we'll do that at some point and give, like, fire magic a shot or who knows. But what else do we got? Can continue transmuting things, sell stuff. There we go. That should put me pretty close. I guess I'll just leave this running kind of automatically. There we go. What does help have? Oh, it's fine. We know about all of these. I do like the fact that there's a knowledge base. What does the heart do? No idea. Okay. Probably some of the more discordant post-rock I have. I'd apologize, but I kind of like it. I wonder if I went Earth. Oh, enchant market stalls. That just makes it so they sell more often, though. I mean, maybe that's not terrible. We also get a stupid amount of money. The new member of your house grabs your, your attention. Hey, I've noticed you've been attempting to study very hard, but studying stinks, doesn't it? She wrinkles her nose in a funny way. Nowadays, you're meant to get others to do the studying for you, though I think that might cost some money. Getting others to do the studying, you're not very surprised she's saying this, but you recognize that with the growing amount of things to do, it might be a good idea. Perhaps with a specially built furniture and some money, you might be able to get some people to help. Bigger house. Your home is getting full of furniture. You start wondering if there's a way to expand it. Promptly you go to the town hall again where the clerk where the clerk or where the clerk you are informed sorry, the clerk informs you that you're in luck. There are actually many possibilities for enlarging your land. They're quite cheap, but she corrects herself. Only a few of them are cheap. But thank her for the information regardless. It might be time to start uh saving up. Okay, so we can get the researcher desk, but we need more water. Well, that's easy enough. Let's get a researcher desk. Ideally, a handful. Okay. Then we can also expand home. Costs, some, costs a lot of money. Okay. Uh, let's go back to transmute. Let's nix this down a smidge. Okay. So I want to look at this. So experience multiplier, loot multiplier. And we also start with some water experiment. Experience. Eh, it's okay. We can keep going, at least for a while yet. Yeah, unfortunately, all those, all that transmutation is actually costing me a fair bit. I'm not sure if we really need as much anymore. If anything, we need more market stalls. 
Okay, there's a third researcher desk, which I should probably... Just assign... Okay, auto assign researchers. Spread evenly? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so now we're going to naturally gain some experience. Uh, let's see. That's probably good enough, at least for now. Because what I should look into is essence catalysts and some other things. They're just expensive. Yeah, I was hoping we'd be able to upgrade my... Ah, I could actually gain extra land. We might need to do that. Training. You receive a familiar letter in your mail today. You sit down and begin to read it. It appears to be from your magic school. It reads, Esteemed student, we'd like to extend to you an extra fee free training course on combat. If you're interested, please report to the Tower of Water Training. We expect you soon. You're surprised by a short squall behind you. It came straight from the first wizard you hired. The one that decided to work completely for free. She was standing behind you the entire time, peeking at the letter over your shoulder. Angry, you're about to reprimand her, but she exclaims, Combat training, that sounds really exciting. You should definitely participate. You remind her that your goal is to find or create the Philosopher's Stone, not to get into fights, but she overrides you. You're looking for an immensely powerful magical object. Don't you think it's going to be hidden and guarded behind enemies that are just as powerful or worse? She might be right. She continues excited. So when are we leaving? You notice her picking up her robe as if ready to go. You tell her to wait a little. You made up your mind about this training, but you feel like you should prepare yourself and get some combat equipment in order to in order first before attending. So we have exploration. Venture to various difficult areas and fight powerful foes. What might you find? So we have the Tower of Water training, and we can now transmute equipment. And water's up. So, what do we have? Rod. It needs Earth Shard, Fire Shard, Earth. Okay. Oh, and air shard. I do, th I wonder. I'm gonna go back to this. Rather than making these automatically, how many wizards do I have free? Six. Can I get one more wizard chamber? Not really. Okay, I'm going to assign one wizard to each of these. Oh. Produce. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to save that one. I'm actually going to just be really lazy and have a wizard periodically cast each of these just so we're kind of capped out. I can cast it myself, but it would actually help if I just didn't have to think about it. And yeah, hopefully at some point there's a way to increase our clicking capabilities, too. Okay, transmute an air shard. And then I need earth mana. Gonna take some time. So we can also make health potions. Okay. Yeah, the one problem is this is a bit of an idle game rather than an incremental. I don't mind it specifically, but there is kind of that feeling of like, uh, how would I describe it? It, uh, I, I wish I could increase my mana regeneration just a little bit more, but I don't have enough land space for it. Hopefully we find some good gear for that. Oh. Otherwise, we have this sucker. Okay, what do we have? Feathered hat, that's some equipment. Yeah, I didn't think about this, but there are ways for me to actually solve some of these issues. Splash, okay, is a water attack. 
Yeah, I forgot the most crucial thing. All I need to do is just put on my robe and wizard hat. Okay, so if we go back to this... Equip. Probably should have done that to begin with, but whatever. Go back to this one. Hmm. Guess I should have made sure I'd have enough. That's okay. There we go. Oh, that's way better. It's not perfect, but it's better. So then I just need some water shards. Which are not cheap. It's not that bad. I should probably also scale this up so we can hold more. Oh, beans. And yeah, this is where enchant transmutation actually would be handy. Okay, let it stack up for a hot second. Yeah, it's not perfect. Okay, oh, my mana maximum is actually pretty huge. There we go. Earth is level four, be gone. There we go. All right, so if we go back to inventory, we can equip it. And then there's some stuff from the pouch, which maybe I look into health potions. Never mind, I don't even have wild grass, so let's do exploration. Tower of water training. So we can get mana and looks like grapes. Or longevity. Oh, huh. increases our max HP. What is our max HP? That's pretty good. We also inflict wet on our foes. We also have stone skin. Okay. In retrospect, some of these are actually kind of really good. Okay, I do actually have a heal. And yeah, I can always escape. If I want to. Guess what we're here. I'll grab Splash and Stone Skin. Okay, sale rush. Oh, we get more money for the next little while. I guess... I don't know. Grab those. Enchant transmutation? Transmute all. Okay, and then sell all? That's some amount of money. I don't know. Oh, market stalls. Oh, oops. All right, whatever. I'll just let that go. Yeah, because how does this work? Oh, sell things you've marked for sale. That explains some things. Okay, so I'm also getting drubbed a little bit here, so I should probably care about that. Because, yeah, I can also cast some things. I almost wish I had a healing spell, but I guess we're supposed to get healing potions. Let's see. And now that I'm actually paying attention and not just auto-fighting these, it's, um, a lot easier. A lot more effective, at the very least. And also, my decision to have my character's channel resources for me seems to be working out. Uh, let's get some more essence storage while we're here. 
I don't think we need the mana shard. I should probably... Get a couple of these? Okay. That's capped out. Yeah, I'm curious about the boss. What that's going to look like. Ideally, if we can get to the point where our character is just automatically fighting, kind of without a whole lot of input from me, that would be nice. The other funny thing I could do is I could actually assign a bunch of wizards to auto-cast Splash. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm reminded of... Back when I used to play World of Warcraft, I knew one of those people that had the, like, 12 accounts linked together. Uh, and it was, I think, a shaman, and they'd all run around and just, like, earth shock something to death. And so, you know, periodically they just see an enemy and then blast them to kingdom come. And it was really satisfying. Probably cheats, uh, cheaty as hell and not great, but I don't know. You have made a lot of progress fighting enemies left and right in this combat training. You feel quite strong. You encounter a door, a more ornately, more ornately discovered than the rest. Pierce, you're at the top of the tower. Sign reads to the side, Blazing Turtle. You sense this is probably some sort of final test for the tower. Are you ready up for a tough battle? Fight the boss of water training. Okay. So how's my HP? That's eh, fine. Air level. Okay, so we also have Knuckles, breathy, Breezy Shirt. Let's get Stone Skin going. Droplet of he Healing. Sick. Okay, so we do have to worry about this a little bit. Oh, Sucker hits like a tank. Nope, I got crushed. So we're not ready to fight him yet. We can heal, though, which is nice. Okay, let's exit the boss fight. Uh, let's just explore. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the Breezy Shirt. So reduces my cooldowns by 20% and gives me a bunch of armor, but not really that good. We do have the Feathered Hat. It's not amazing, but it's probably worth it. Okay, let's do... Transmute Air Shard. Make a couple more. Oh, there's also Knuckles. Did I forget to equip my Rod? The main problem is mana. No, I do have the, the Rods. Oh, is this hat... It's an equip it's an accessory. I'm pretty sure I can't equip it. Yep. Okay, so that's not as helpful as I'd like. I guess the real thing we need, more than anything else, is probably healing potions. We don't have enough. I'll just periodically heal myself. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, current goal, beat the boss. How do we even do that? I guess the main thing I could and should probably do... ...is get some more mana spouts. The only immediate problem is they're not great. We could also start over. That is one other option. Yeah, because where are we at in retirement? Oh, channeling production and loot multiplier goes up. That's not terrible. Oh, interesting. So... 
Additionally, start with some EXP on elements for which your MPL is higher than one. MP hell? No idea. So I think we need to beat the boss before I start over, but we kind of knew that was the goal anyway. Yeah, I guess I should be enchanting those essence catalysts. Look at this. Let's get rid of enchant market stalls. They're not amazing. Are we not are we not channeling this one? We're not. Oh, we can also make a longsword and earth mail. But this for 20 seconds. I probably need one more wizard chamber. We need money. That just makes them sell more often. So that's not really that amazing. Okay, go back here, wizard chamber. So we really just need air. And a couple more coins. Okay, do we have enough? Wizard chamber. Go back to this one every 20 seconds. Cool. I guess the other thing I should do is probably have a different spell set it uh, dedicated to fire or not, because we don't need to be enchanting essence catalysts at the very least. Okay, we're going to need more space. I think we just try and get as m many mana spouts as we possibly can with our current situation. Actually, we've capped out. All right. Let's take a look at transmutation. We just got stone mail. Beefy as heck. But it takes longer to cast things. And longsword is just more damage. It's good. Yeah, that one's tough. Oh, pool of mana. Oh. It's just a temp. I got excited. I thought it would possibly be a... Uh, like a longer-term bonus. Okay, let's get a healing potion. Three times per combat. Oh, but we can only get one of them. Ouch. Or, oh, it's in an... It might be a temp thing. Oh, that's probably it. So we also have the hand axe, which is just... Be uh, ooh. Heavy, slow, and damaging. The main problem is I think I'm going to be somewhat reliant. Oh. You know what, actually... Let's, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to save default and fight. Okay, 68 seconds per cast, stone skin, same deal. Okay. So let's go back to exploration. 
Yeah, we've just been fighting this whole time, haven't we? All right, time to fight the boss. Because I've got the pools of mana. So the best thing I can possibly do here... ...is... ...die, actually. Oh. Nope. Okay. So I guess we just have to recover from this one. I think I forgot to cast Longevity beforehand. Which is the issue. Okay. Let's fight boss. Okay, he hasn't hit me bad yet. Every once in a while he does, though. Oh, I see. We're currently quaffing our potions. So those are automatic. Wow, those potions are actually really good. But I think I should be able to beat the boss this time around. Yeah, I think I would I just neglected to heal myself properly. Oh, that's the hit. Alright, training is not over. You fell the enemy after what felt like a longer battle than the others. It felt slightly challenging. More than that, however, you feel excited and exhilarated. You seem to enjoy combat much more than you thought you would. It appears that's not enough. You find a paper in the last room mentions that there are other training towers meant for those who specialize in other elements. But a true wizard should be able to triumph over all of them, it says. You decide to take up the challenge. You could uh, you could do with some more difficult combat. So through more training towers. Wait until this slime is dead. Exit. And let's do air next. Okay. Where are we at? So it really is... Yeah, go defeat all of the towers. Mm. Yeah, the problem is, I don't have much for land at all. Get another wizard. Can't get more essence storage. So I'll just get a mana shard. All right, we are completely out of land. How are we doing fight-wise? So these guys are a bit tougher. I do wonder to some degree if, yeah, maybe I should just go for like a full bruisey, uh, bruisey boy and just fight things as directly as possible. Could do that. What else do we have? Oh, air is now level six. Did I unlock a new spell? The answer is no. Nuts. It's fine. Uh, why don't we just go back to wizards default? I forgot. Okay. Let's let that go. We want to do one in channel fire. One in channel earth. One in channel air. Let's see. Do we want to channel water? It's reasonably fast. I'm assuming I'm also out of wizards. But maybe that's fine. Okay. Yeah, do we just make a bunch of money? We're going to need it if I need more land. Or if I want to get more land. I think the other thing we want to do is just get my water level up to 9. Let me check retirement. It's still a posterity. I was hoping I could get a little bit further than this. 
but that experience gain is going to be really good. Let's see. Okay, what else do we do? I... Oh, you know what? This probably isn't cooldown. That's probably just attack delay. I don't know. I still think having my equipment be centered around spellcasting makes more sense than going full brawn warrior. I'd love to play one of these with enough, like, build depth that that is possible. Uh, but I don't think this is going to be one of those games. Okay, channel a bunch of air. Not really much I can do about it. I guess probably just transmute a bunch of water shards. What about the rest of these? Sure. Go nuts. And yeah, do we just sell everything through market stalls? Really, it's just the... It's the water shards that are the easiest for me to make. So I, I think I'm going to turn these off and just let them go. I probably should have gotten another market stall in retrospect, but whatever. Hmm. Yeah, the other thing I could do... No, I don't know. Probably just let the game run. Because we seem to be in a fine position fight-wise. These enemies don't threaten me enough. To the point where I should be able to uh, blast through them. Yeah, did this get any better? The answer is no. I almost kind of wish you could actually level up each spell. I, I think the main thing I wish this had was A, B options. Like, hey, your splash is leveled up. Would you like to be able to cast it more often? Do you want to have it like a damage over time effect? Something like that. Little bits here and there would probably go a very long way at making parts of this maybe more interesting, more interesting for me, which maybe is part of the uh, part of the consideration. Okay, water leveled up. Hey! Hey, any water spells learned from a previous rank will become stronger. Sick. So we also have the potion of vitality. Is that used up, by the way? That's not. Is this equipment or equipment pouch? Do we, do we just equip it? Because it seems like it just triggers, yeah? Yeah, auto use pouch items. And we also have quick bar, strategy. Huh. I do like that combat menu. It's maybe a couple too many bits of UI, but I don't know. Okay, so if I go to retirement, does that change anything? My water will start at level four, which is good. I think I'd still probably want to focus mostly on, well, I think I want to fight every boss is the answer. Let's see, how far are we off on that? Eh, a ways. So I think we'll fight one more boss. I mostly just want to see if the other bosses are harder or not. Oh, advanced mana spouts. Continue to climb up the tower of training and fending off enemies left and right. You happen to cross somebody else. It's your old teacher from the wizardry from wizardry furniture. His large figure always stood out, easily towering over everyone else in class. You greet him and he waves at you. Build some conversation. He appears interested in how you're setting up your furniture at your home. Tell him about your mana spots and how you build them. But he makes a sour face. Did you say something wrong? He explains that you're doing well with your home, but he realized that you're using very basic construction techniques for the mana spouts. You've been using these ba you've been basing these off of what you could deduce from your own notes, which you know were quite bad, so you're not too surprised. He agrees to teach you how to improve it, but before that, he mentions you're no longer a student at the school. 
You'll need to show him that you have the skill to understand the lesson, as well as pay for the effort. So, uh, we need a much higher air level. And then also 8,000 coins. Alright, let's go back to study. Uh, let's see. Everybody on air. There we go. If I'm going to have to get that up, I guess I might as well work for it. Because, yeah, being able to get that better furniture would be nice. Wait, where did he go? Ah, nuts. Is he just gone? I guess I'm just going to have to save up the money and get air up to level 10. I, I don't know. I could have goofed it. All right. Uh, let's go back to wizards. Go to the fight set. Okay. Let's start by casting lon longevity. Oh. Oh, I didn't hit save. We also have Stone Strike. 60 damage. It's not bad. Okay. Jeffrey Stone Skin. 60 seconds cast. Yeah, that should be fine. What's the other one? I don't know what I didn't... Put my uh, dudes on. Okay, there we go. I think I keep forgetting to save these. Well, it's fine. Okay, back to exploration. Okay, let's go fight the boss. So it feels like it has more HP. But I could be wrong. I mean, we seem to be just demolishing the evil snowman. Animated snowman. Okay, so these fights are actually really easy. Okay, that did hit me. I guess the... Uh, Uh, let's see. It was easy, of course, because I was just relying on my potions. But that's okay. I mean, we've got him very hard on the run. There we go. You fell one more enemy as you explore. You look behind you and notice a familiar figure. It's your hired wizard. What's she doing all the way here? That was so cool, she explains lo exclaims loudly. After you notice her, you're so strong. How do you do it? You're quite startled and surprised by her presence and not quite sure how to respond. But she continues before you're able to. I've actually been watching you since you started exploring, and I've noticed various kinds of enemies have been f you've been fighting and the items you've been finding. They've been recording information about them. She shows you a book titled Compendium. You've been here a little intrigued. You walk up to her and open the book. It's barely filled in, but the few pages that have writing in them, quite a lot of info, even drawings of each of the enemies you've defeated. You're pretty impressed. Some of the enemy entries have observa observations from her, her on how to combat them effectively. Something like this might justify her accompanying you. Accompanying you. You hesitate to tell her immediately. You sense she'll get extremely excited. For a brief moment, you even think about her motivations. You tell yourself it's not the right time now, though. Resolve to let her know that she should come with you on your explorations after you go back home. You thank her for starting the book. You're sure it'll be useful. So we have Compendium. Okay, so we go back to this. Uh, defeat more bosses. Could also expand the home the main problem is i was really hoping that uh what's his face would show back up again what are we doing on air we're getting there but alas i was hoping that quest would just sit around and i could like find him again but i guess we're just gonna have to wait and hope 
he shows up. So what do we have? Compendium. So we can see our items. We can also see the bestiary. Uh, base loot drop. Found in times defeated, times run away. Ah, just its chances of showing up. Oh, defeat the boss more often to see its information. I guess we could actually fight them multiple times. Wait, the Firebat? Oh, he's not a boss. It's just a regular enemy. Huh. Well, that's fine. I'm sure over the course of many, many playthroughs, we will get exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, I think at this point, this is a good stopping point, at least for now. Uh, I'm sure there's more to do. However, this is just a demo. The full version is going to be out sometime quarter two, 2024, so sometime in the next three months, give or take. Uh, and it seems pretty beefy. I like it better than the first game. It's obviously still very much an incremental, uh, incremental, just like meter grinder. And there is a feeling of like, yeah, this probably isn't the kind of thing that I would do with full commentary anyway, not in the future. I think I need a little bit more interaction and it feels like this game would be more fun if I just let it run for the most part. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you guys want to play the demo yourselves, it's available on Steam now. Just follow the link in the description below. And it's pretty good. I I love incremental RPGs that actually have a feeling of like progression and story. I think it's still... I want one of these with more of a feeling of like you really are building your your house up in your environment and your, your shop and whatnot. Uh, Arcanium scratched that the itch better than any other incremental RPG I've ever seen. And I wish there were more like it, but also Arcanium, I think is still very much in an unfinished state and might never get finished. So it's kind of one of those where it's like, I, you know what? I'm sure this will more than suit my needs once it's further along. But for now, at least, if you like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.